Welcome to this Jurassic World Evolution 2 speed build using all of the new decorations from the Jurassic Park update that launched today. In this video, I'm going to show you how I turned this sketch that I made into this awesome outdoor visitor center tour, which I hope will inspire you for your own awesome builds. We're starting with a little bit of path art, hearkening back to the start of my channel, but of course, celebrating and honoring the 30th anniversary of Jurassic Park personally my favorite movie and Jurassic World Evolution 2 is my favorite game so I'm super excited to have all of these like movie inspired objects decorations come into the game that we can use to make even better parks and this was such an amazing build to do as like the first thing I did with these new pieces so this 30 plaza is like the main plaza of this build that's gonna overlook the visitor center and the tour that's gonna go through and buy and all of that stuff and uh, I'm just placing like the first of the new decorations that we have the banner when dinosaurs ruled the earth which is sort of like the entry point to this section and the mural on the side that had like a door in it because there's gonna be an, an attraction behind that so now I'm just placing the water and I'm using the water tool to really quickly lower the terrain because the entire tour is going to be sunken down a little bit from the plaza so that the plaza just has a nice overview of everything and there's the visitor center of course which is like the the center point of this of this whole of this whole tour as you can see I'm building path around it because the visitor center is usable by guests we're not just chucking it into the exhibit and and leaving it unconnected guests can reach it from the other side and when you think about this exhibit that I'm building right now you should think of it as part of a larger park like it would it has several connection points that would lead further into the rest of your park this is just like one attraction within the park all right so we're starting with the actual tour and I laid down a little bit of tour track just to see what the what the placement would be of these wall pieces because I wanted to get that right and again I'm using uh, the, the 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 wall with the door in it to give like a little bit of a peekaboo moment have our, our tour visitors be able to look out into something spooky <laughs> and over here I'm just putting down some fence so that we can actually also put in the gate on the on the tour track itself to give the guests like that iconic moment of driving through the gate. Now this section of the tour is gonna get walled in. Um, this whole tour is gonna be quite reminiscent of like a universal tour, you know, like, like a dark ride, but out in the open with just a lot of decorations to look at. But of course it will also include dinosaurs. And the dinosaurs that I chose for this tour, I thought would be the most fitting, which is the T-Rex and the Velociraptors, because those are the two dinosaurs that actually come into the visitor center in the movie itself so I thought that those two were an appropriate choice uh, here again just using these wall pieces as part of the perimeter of what's going to be the velociraptor enclosure and you can see that again I used that wall piece with an arch in it an opening in it to give our guests another like sneak peek into the habitat these murals with like the, the painting of the Velociraptor and the Parasaurolophus are like the introduction of the Velociraptor section of this tour. So the vehicles are going to be driving towards the mural. You're going to see that and you're going to know what you're getting yourself into. You can see that I placed a second tour building on the track. So this would be the hop off point. You really have to see this tour as uh, you start in one place and you end in another place. The rest of the tour that continues out on the right side, now on the left, <laughs> you, you're actually not supposed to be in there. That's just the vehicles automatically returning to the starting point to pick up new people. Here I'm doing what I always do and that is hide the back of a building with the concrete fence uh, I'm making like a slight change to the path over here it doesn't need to be symmetrical I wanted to use that space for a slightly larger guest section I'm just moving about trying to figure out where to put the amenity I placed it over there by the velociraptor habitat and here we go placing the uh, the attraction that's right there and it is the zip line so that takes zip liners right across the 30 plaza um, across the lake across the visitor center I thought that would be a really cool perspective for them mostly to get get a view of that of that 30 in the path um 
All right, so now we're hopping on over, uh, doing some invisible fencing on the Velociraptor habitat. I'm hiding that in water because controversially, invisible fence isn't actually invisible. And now we're gonna get started on the perimeter of the Tyrannosaurus habitat. And um, it's a little messy at the start, but I think you're gonna see where I'm going with this. And that is that I want the, um, the fence to get broken by the T-Rex. So I, I actually changed it here uh, to a different kind of fence. I changed it all around. Uh, but what I wanted was to like have the T-Rex break that specific part of the fence to like uh, simulate, you know, the main road breakout, even though that has nothing to do with the visitor center itself. But I thought that was pretty iconic. So there you go. They broke out. I'm just going to tranquilize them and get them ready to go into the actual exhibit. I'm deleting all of the fence I placed except for the part that I got them to destroy. And then from there out, I'm actually creating the perimeter of their habitat and you can see that i'm going around that loop we're going to do something awesome with that loop um and that's the t-rex habitat i'm using invisible fencing to um well here you go <laughs> that's what we're gonna do with the loop we're gonna place skeletons in it so yeah the, the cars just drive around the skeleton giving like uh, a 360 perspective of that epic hunt like uh frozen in time um embodied by those fossils. Now here I'm using the Jeeps as like placeable items basically. Unfortunately, that's not something that was part of the update. I know that a lot of people were hoping for placeable Jeeps. Uh, alas, that's not the case. So we have to use our old trick of just fencing in a ranger station. <laughs> a ranger station. We, we, um, we lost our hood over there, but that's okay. That just adds to the atmosphere. So yeah, by fencing in the ranger station, the jeeps will not return to the station. They'll just remain parked there as part of this of this attraction. So it really starts with just looking at objects and decorations and those vehicles over there and, you know, a log right there. Um, and what I'm doing over here is adding the bunker. So basically, when you're looking through the arch in the mural, there you go, you get a view of the log, a log at least, that Ellie would have to jump over and you get the bunker behind that which i thought was like a pretty cool little sneak peek moment but yeah that's how the tour starts with really just decorations for guests to look at and it's not until later in the tour that you first see the velociraptor introduced by the mural and then you see the t-rex introduced by the t-rex and alamosaurus skeletons so it sort of builds which i thought was appropriate right we start off quite chill you're literally just looking at stuff, but eventually you get to the exciting dinosaurs. Okay, so I'm going to use a lot of that fluffy bush to really um, close off parts of the tour, really direct which way you're viewing. I'm using even more of the murals, again, to really direct where people are going to be watching and making parts of the tour feel more secluded. The Mediterranean big tree is really useful for that because it has such a pronounced overhang with its branches. I love using that to sort of hang over the tour and give it like a a canopy, a roof almost over it, give it more like that tunnel feeling. You'll see me do that uh, twice or maybe even three times in this tour. I'm just adding a ton of foliage to make it look natural and overgrown and more interesting because again, you know, there's no dinosaurs yet to look at in this part of the tour. Um, and I'm, I'm replacing quite a bit of grass with this, um, with this muddy texture. I played around with sand there. I didn't quite like it. Uh, but yeah, I like breaking up like the super bright green of the grass with something else. Just checking in a lot of trees. Again, this is supposed to be part of like a bigger park, right? This is really just like part of the puzzle piece. So if you're going to do this yourself, like you can use this as the starting point, as inspiration for your next build, your first build with these new items. You can make something like that and then branch out from in all different directions to create the rest of your park. Okay, so as I was rambling on and working on the T-Rex habitat, I'm placing the Spinosaurus skeleton or not the skeleton, the skull in there. 
just a great like a little bit of a spoopy touch i know it has nothing to do with the visitor center it doesn't even have anything to do with the first movie at all but i wanted to add like a little bit of a story in there and have my guests feel like ooh, something happened here that there was an epic battle here uh this is for the velociraptor habitat obviously i'm just using the you know the raptor paddock the cage the crane to sort of simulate that scene again it's not directly related to the visitor center but we're, we're drawing inspiration from the entire movie uh, because you know we're celebrating the entire movie it's not just it's not just the 30th anniversary of the visitor center it's the 30th anniversary of the entire movie so yeah that's why i drew inspiration from several different points there um and here I'm just adding lots of foliage and stuff to make it more natural. I'm being really purposeful with how I'm placing the foliage. Um, oh, I added these uh, water features there because that mural with the arch in it is like modeled after the entry of the visitor center. And the entry of the visitor center has like um, waterfalls in front of it. So that's why I chose those fountain pieces here for, let's call it the fossil roundabout. I'm just circling it entirely with torches i have um an affection for those torches i love them i think they're pretty epic and spooky and i thought those were just the perfect thing to add over there here with like planters and barriers i'm just closing off the guest section just to ensure that um guests wouldn't get the ill-advised idea to actually walk out into the tour itself and obstruct the vehicles. Of course, the guests in the game don't actually do that anyway. They stick to the path. But you want to think about how real-life people would behave, right? And real-life people are stupid. And they totally would walk out onto the track if there wasn't something there to make them reassess that decision. Um, here I'm just adding like a little seating section using the brand new tables and chairs. I keep saying brand new and I keep correcting myself to they're not brand new, they're from 1993 and that's exciting. Uh, just adding uh, foliage over here as well to... Like this is very concrete all of it so it needed a lot of green to sort of balance that out. Uh, here I'm using the new rock sign posts. Um, I don't even know what they're... Yeah, they're like signs, I guess, uh, to fill up those spaces on either side of the tour. Again, that tour building is just supposed to be where people exit. And everything on the right, like where the tour arches back to the first tour building, guests are not supposed to be in the vehicles at that point. I just want to emphasize that because otherwise you might think, hey, there's... There's nothing happening there. That part of the tour is much shorter. Yes, that's by design. Unfortunately, the game doesn't allow you to actually introduce stuff like that to, to make something an exit and an entry. Uh, but you just have to use your imagination and envision that it does work like that. I'm adding another plaza behind that second tour building, behind the visitor center. And this is a viewing opportunity for the T-Rex because, you know, the tour is quite limited in how much time you have. Um, so that's why I added a viewing gallery over there. And this plaza would be an example of where you can connect this to the rest of your park. You know, you can have path branch out in several different directions from here and continue with the rest of your park build. Adding a little seating section. I like combining um, these pieces over here to create like a little secluded area. And now we're going to move back over to the the main section, the 30 Plaza. I'm a little bit all over the place with this build. I was really um, just sort of going off my sketch, obviously. And... Uh, I had to I had to really figure out how to get it right with the proportions of the sketch and how that would translate into into the game and um, the actual proportions of the items that I was using right so that's why this build is a little bit all over the place um, I hope it was still clear for you to follow <laughs> but I just had to I had to make sure that everything fit properly the way I had designed it um, I don't always do a sketch as detailed as this one is but yeah for this one I just um I yeah, I just had an idea. I started to draw it out. Uh, you can tell from the sketch that I didn't pick a piece of paper large enough. So I actually taped another piece of paper to it. <laughs> so that I could complete the sketch. And um, I think it translated really well from sketch into in-game. Um, I think that goes to show that I have quite a bit of experience at this point with... 
um, the actual size of things and also how to just uh, test things out and play around with, with things in the game to make things fit together. So we're, we're getting close to the end of the build here. Uh, I'm just lining that bit with planters again to discourage people from walking off the path and into the actual tour. I'm placing the maintenance shed there, I just felt like we needed to add that. I mean, it's new, we needed to add it. Um, and I literally used every single new piece that they added in the game uh, in this build. Actually, as I say that, I realized I forgot one, I forgot one thing. Uh, let me know in a comment down below which one I forgot. <laughs> oh, I love this, by the way. Those little egg things at the base of those pillars. Loved it. And there, Mr. DNA greets us on the 30 Plaza, which I thought was cool. I replaced a planter with this rock thing. Um, I used um, I used different flags because, you know, we already had the banner and I used those flags already somewhere else. Uh, but yeah, if you can spot what I didn't use for this build, let me know in a comment. I even placed the poop. But yeah, there you got like a little peek. Yeah, I'm, I'm curious to see. Comment down below if you can figure out which I didn't use. Now, here's one thing I added, which I did initially forget, and that was the gate. Because it's, it's you know, it's somewhere else. It's in a different menu, so... I will admit, I, I initially forgot about it. Uh, we're using the Jeep trick again, like the parked Jeep trick. So I'm actually putting it right inside the gate itself. So it remains permanently open. Uh, I parked the second one behind it and it just creates a cool little scene, you know, for the tour to drive past. And it's like this little frozen in time moment of the Jeeps driving through the gate, entering the park. I thought that was that was a pretty fun use of it. Um, you know, the gate is utilitarian. It's for Jeeps, not Taurus. So I didn't know how else to incorp incorporate it into this build. And I'm finishing it off with the signs, which we've had in the game for a while, but I realized they are the perfect fit for this build. For the showcase itself, I'm gonna stop talking. I'm just gonna let you enjoy the tour. If you've enjoyed this video, if you like the build, give the video a like. And if you wanna see more like this, consider subscribing to the channel. Thank you so much for watching, liking, subscribing, and until next time, enjoy the tour.